Now, here at Cover Oregon headquarters, changes have already been made, so we came today to get some answers about what they're going to do to make sure this paper application process works for frustrated customers. I am genuinely worried. Like tens of thousands of others across Oregon, Leslie Bagley is in limbo. I'm just getting really frustrated because the time crunch it's on. Her insurance plan expires at the end of the year. She's mailed in a paper application to cover Oregon, but hasn't heard back yet. And every time she calls, no one has the answer she's looking for. I have prescriptions I need to take every month. They get filled every month. I'm diabetic. I need to get my insulin covered. I mean, I'm just, I'm stressing out. <laughs> So Bagley was one of many watching Wednesday when Cover Oregon's executive director faced questions from lawmakers. I'm, I'm looking for help for my family. Uh, well, Mr. Chair, not, uh, I don't know if I can say a person. join you. And there wasn't always an answer. One question about the fact they're now relying on those paper applications had many raising an eyebrow. On OPB, I heard Amy was on the radio and said we have one fax machine for taking in these paper applications. Is that true? So, uh, Mr. Chair, Representative Wyden, I don't know. Well, we think people deserve to know, so we went to find out. We do not only have one fax machine. We do have one fax number, but it's not really a fax machine. It's the faxes are coming into an electronic interface that can handle more than one call at once. A spokesperson couldn't tell me exactly how many calls they can handle at one time, but did tell me they're already making changes. Good news to all those who say they keep getting a busy signal. The system started only able to take 500 applications a day. In October, they upped that to 1,000, and this week, upped it again to 1,500. Are you confident at this point that you have enough capacity? Yes, absolutely. We don't receive 1,500 faxes a day. We have the capacity now to receive 1,500 faxes a day, and we're actually going to bump that up even more in the coming days. The deadline to get those applications in is December 4th, and we're told today that all applications in by that date will be processed in time. I'm Chris Woodard for Coin6 News.